come from a powerlifting background, so I have a lot of power. Dane's gonna feel it tonight. I'm super confident that Slava Cass is getting knocked out. He's going to sleep. It's just inevitable. He's ready to take this belt home. I know I'm just gonna knock this full out first round. I, I love John, but he's not ready for this. I'm on a whole nother level. The golden knight to go up against Wesley is one shot, one kill, no luck, all skill. But if it takes five rounds, so be it. I'm ready for a war. It's going to be a rough night for AJ. His chin ain't taking this boy. So you better assume it everything you got, because if I get one, you ain't to sleep. So I've heard a lot of talk coming from Russell talking about he's not worried about my neck strength. Last time was a fluke. We all know, and he knows especially, that he's lying. He's worried. My goal tonight is really to knock out Ron in one round. and have that belt given to me, wrapped around my waist, and walk out of there a champion. I want this title defense really bad. I mean, just to uh, solidify myself as the number one heavyweight in power slap. Ladies and gentlemen, the power is on. Where else would you rather be? The fight Mecca and the home to Power Slap Las Vegas, Nevada, and the main card has arrived. Three championship belts on the line, and it's happening right now inside the UFC Apex, right here, right now on Rumble. Power Slap 2, Wolverine versus the Bell, presented by Monster Energy Unleash the Beast, alongside the UFC Hall of Famer, Michael Bisping. I am Dan Helley, and it is my pleasure to be here with you live and free on Rumble. Man, we had some great fights in the prelims. We have three championship fights coming up on the main card, and Power Slap growing at a faster rate than any of us could have imagined. Michael. I mean, look, listen, this thing is ridiculous. We got a sold out house, we got a packed arena, we have knockouts galore, the atmosphere is insane, and we're just getting started. The main event here tonight, the current heavyweight king, Wolverine, taking on a man in Damien DeBell who might know him better than anyone he's ever fought before. Ron the Wolverine, Ron Bates. This man's quiet, he's unassuming, he's a family man. He's a man of few words, but that doesn't matter. He does his talking with his slapping, and when he slaps, he puts people to sleep. The heavyweight champion of the world. He's not the biggest guy, but he packs the most power. He's even talked about dropping down to light heavyweight, but he said, you know what? I'm the champ, and like a true champion, I gotta defend that belt. Put on 20 pounds of muscle as we take a look at these heavyweight striker rankings brought to you by Kudo Pro Team Popcorn. Get Pop with Kudo today, kudosnacks.com. And Damian DeBell, he is moving on up or expects to move on up in the rankings and take this championship from Wolverine. He brings a lot to the table, does his future lawyer. Listen, he's a massive man with massive power. He knocked out Dwayne Crespo, the Iron Giant, who got a huge knockout earlier on here tonight. That alone shows what this man is capable of. But he knows, he's trained with Ron Bader. He knows what he's capable of. He knows the power, and he's very confident. He feels he can take his best shots. And now time for the heavyweight rankings presented by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop Kudo today, kudosnacks.com. So it's the champion against the number one contender. Damien DeBell is 21 years old. He is the youngest man on the card tonight. 
Yeah, he wants to be a pilot. He wants to be a lawyer. He says he also wants to be champion. In the co-main, it is AJ Hintz against Russell Kainoa Rivero. AJ Hintz, pound for pound, might be the baddest slap fighter on the planet. The next drink, the power, he really does have it all. Oh, listen, he's the complete package, and he's a character as well. Outside of the, the power slap arena, this man is a fun guy to talk to. But when he steps on here, that's when he really comes alive. But he's got a tough fight tonight. Russell Rivera, look at this man. Look at how he's built. He benches something like 300 pounds. He squats 450 pounds. But more importantly, when he unleashes, he puts people to sleep. And you can see it, Russell Rivera, there's a strange look in his eye, the look of a killer, the look of a man that wants to be the power slap champion. AJ Hintz comes to the weigh-in in a mask. We talked about the power from this guy. They, he, he's just built for this, right? He is just absolutely built for this. As we talk about, listen, John Davis and Wesley Drain, this is another one, another championship title fight that you have to keep your eye on. John Davis, nobody works harder than this guy. We've never seen anybody get up at 3 in the morning and then work out again after work. He gets up at 3 o'clock in the morning, he works out, then he goes to work all day, does hard labor, comes home, works out again, truly motivated to be the best that he can be. And he sees Power Slap as really life-changing for him. He's the champion now, and he intends on staying the champion for a long time. Charlie Arnold is the third member of our broadcast crew, and she has more on a, a little twist, or should I say a big twist, in our main card opener. Charlie. Yeah, Dan, big twist would be the right way to say it because we are about to set a record for the most weight in the Power Slap arena. The promotion's first ever super heavyweight competitors, Dane Viernes and Slap for Cash, listen to this. They weigh a combined 828 pounds, but that is not all. Such big competitors obviously require equally as big of catch men. So Power Slap has solicited the help of Evan Singleton and Trey Mitchell, two of the top five competitors of the 2023 World's Strongest Men competition. So in total, there is going to be over 1,600 pounds in the Power Slap arena. We can safely confirm, thank goodness, the stage can handle all of this monster weight, and I cannot wait for the earth below our feet to rumble in this super heavyweight battle, Dan. It's going to be good. All right, thank you very much, Charlie. It's not going to be good. It is going to be great. Over 800 pounds worth of slap fighters ready to kick off the main card here in Las Vegas. Social media sensation. Slap for cash in his power slap debut. Wins the toss and will slap first against the Hawaiian hitman, Dane Viernes. The big men of power slap are in Las Vegas and ready to shake the foundations of the apex as Hawaiian juggernaut Dane Viernes puts it all on the line against the popular KO artist slap for cash. This league definitely needed a boost. That's why they brought me here. That's why I'm here. I got billions of views all over the internet. There's nobody else that can bring the views that I can bring. They had to bring me on this show. They didn't have a choice. Slap for cash, yo. Slap for cash. Uh, there was no slap videos on the internet before I posted any of my stuff. Yeah, I started this whole thing. I've knocked out over 60 people in the slap for cash stuff. I do come from a boxing background. I was in Tyson Fury's fight camp for a couple of weeks last year. Been friends with Nick and Nate Diaz for 10 years. Yo. I'm explosive, I have a lot of power. I hit hard. I know I'm a lot stronger than Dane, and I'm a lot more explosive, and I, I hit harder. I'm here to do what I gotta do, and that's, you know, put Dane down. Yeah, Dane's getting knocked out. My name is Dane Viernes. I go by Mana, the Hawaiian hitman. This opportunity means a lot, especially being the first super heavyweight match for Power Slap. It's just gonna show that the big boys is where it's at. Well, I, I got into slap fighting from my older brother, the crazy Hawaiian, or Lane Viernes. He's a super heavyweight champion in slap fighting, and it, it kind of feels like I'm living in the shadow. I'm the little brother, but I'm, I'm the bigger brother. 
I'm uh, Tanaka Maolia from Hawaii, true warrior, coming in to destroy. And I think I can, I can run through all these opponents that's coming my way, coming in to knock you out and collect your skull and take him out and slice out. So he weighed in at 461 pounds, weighing about 470 right now. This is Slap for Cash, 38 years old. You heard him. He claims to have started the whole slap fighting craze. And look who's behind him. Marvin Vittori fighting Jared Cannonier, UFC middleweight, one of the top five middleweights in the world. The Italian dream lapping up this moment. Listen, Slap for Cash. Big on weight, big on power, big on confidence. He's not short on confidence either, let me tell you. He, as you said, claims to have started this. So listen, I've got over 60 knockouts. I started it, people were asking me for money. I said, well, you've got to give me something. You've got to let me slap you. On top of that, he said, listen, I'm a great boxer. I've got knockout power. I'm four and one in boxing. I was a part of Tyson Fury's boxing camps. If you speak to this man, he's been there, done it, got the T-shirt, and he's talking like a future champion. A very interesting guy. Said, I don't watch TV at all. I'm too busy out there making moves, running businesses, making money, and tonight looking to take the head off Dane Viernes. The other thing he said to us is he doesn't want to look at the crowd. He wants to completely block them out. Maybe not what you would expect for a guy with a million Instagram followers, but here's the other thing. He has one one slap fight, one real slap fight on the resume. Different promotion, different rules. This is his debut in Power Slap. Gonna be a good one. These fighter walkouts brought to you by 10X World. 10X your business, 10X your income, 10X your life. Go to 10xworld.com. The Hawaiian hitman. Dane Viernes, his big bro, nicknamed the Crazy Hawaiian, has a history with Slap for Cash. They were both in attendance at Power Slap 1, talking trash to him, Slap for Cash, couldn't get a slap fight, worked out with the Crazy Hawaiian. So now it's his little brother, the Hawaiian Hitman, who's here in his place. And he is a hitman indeed. In fact, he's a marksman. He competes in competitive rifle shooting, so, you know, the target, the aim, shouldn't be a problem for this man. And speaking, you know, slap the guy, he's the bigger guy. But it's not like Dan Bjornis is a small man weighing in at 385 pounds. As Charlie said, we've got professional strong men in the building to catch these bad boys if they take a shot, if they hit the canvas. I can't wait for this one, I mean, Two of the biggest men to ever compete in this sport. We're going to see something special in just a moment. 470 pounds for Slap for Cash, close to 400 pounds for Dwayne Hitman. You got to bring in the strongman catchers. And look at the fans. They know what's coming. We have never seen anything like this before in the Power Slap arena. More than 800 pounds of Slap Fighter in the arena right now. The tail of the tape brought to you by Happy Dad, Hard Seltzer, no more skinny cans. Dave Viernes, eight years younger, one inch shorter, and you can see the slap for cash is the two inch reach advantage as well. Now here's the deal, slap for cash won the toss, he will go first, one of just two on the card to win the toss and still be an underdog, likely because of his lack of experience in this realm. Justin Bernard, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, the power is on! Welcome to the Power Slap Arena, live from the Fight Mecca, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Power Slap 2, Wolverine versus The Bell. This match is three rounds in a first ever Power Slap Super Heavyweight bout. Introducing to you first, out of the blue corner, making his Power Slap debut, he stands six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 461 pounds. Out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Slap for Cash! And now, introducing his opponent out of the red corner, also making his Power Slap Heavyweight, Super Heavyweight 
debut. He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 367 pounds out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Hawaiian! Dane! The Hawaiian Hitman! Fiennes! And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Carrie Hadley. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, slap for cash. Back up, back up, back up. Here we go. Props to watch. Odds makers have this one. Is it dead even pick them to end of the first round? Minus 115, yes, minus 115 on the no. So slap for cash. We're playing the chalk oh, right Come now. On. Here we go. This gentlemen. man has talked a big game all week. When we sat down with him, I mean, we had Jesus Gaspar on earlier, but you would think uh, he was the Jesus Christ Blues on power slap because I'm toss. telling you, he's not Blues sure on the confidence. Coin toss. Hand and count. Right three. He's never okay, been right in this hand on three. Blues elected. Right hand on three. Right measure. on three. That's your measure. Strongman catchers are here. Trey One. Mitchell and Evan Singleton. Two. Let's see. Here we go. Didn't have a whole lot of on it there. Bisping takes it without a problem. In fact, smiled. Wasn't even the loudest hit we've heard all night. Whenever you're ready, go knock him out. Whenever you're ready, go knock him out. Give him time. Give him time. You got, you got 45. You, you know, got 45. I have seen you got 45. Let's get let's talk up. Line. By who? I'm not saying. I'll say, it. Right I'll say it. Logan Paul. Now Logan Paul put him to sleep. Logan I'm, Paul put uh, him okay. down. Now he was upset because he said he didn't get a chance to slap Logan Paul back. Yeah, but but guess what? If Logan Paul could put him down. Right. I'm pretty sure this in the box. mega monster, okay. Dane Gurness, hits a little bit harder. Yeah. Strap yourselves three. in, folks. All Somebody right. may be Red's about elected. to go left to sleep. Hand on three. Left Our world's hand on strongest three. catchers, Must Trey measure. Mitchell and Evan Singleton, are prepared to catch 470 pounds That's if he goes measure. down. Say good night, Vienna. Two. <laughs> Up to one knee. Eight. It's not looking Nine. good. And that he's up. Okay. He's up. He's up. To me. Oh, he got up. Slowly. Come Easy. On. Easy. Easy. Time. Call the time. time. They're gonna bring the doctor in. Calling in the doctor. Giving him more time. Take a deep breath. I want slap for cash. Gotta make sure you're all right, okay? Yeah. Come Ooh, towards me. The slow mo. Oh, that me. was juicy. He's good. Come over here. He's good. Okay. He's good. He's good. He looks recovered. You okay. You want to keep going? Careful what you wish for, though. Okay. You're good. That's recovered. that's a big man going down. Oh. Oh, that was a big slap as well. Okay, 30 seconds. You got 30 seconds. Listen, there's a pretty slap. big disparity in power based on this line. first you round. 25. This one, bro. 25. Bro, we gotta go back up. Hey, we gotta go back up. We yeah. gotta go back up. Go fuck the chalk. Fuck the chalk. Just, just a little bit. Up, get get the back. Dave Bjorn is black and bloody. Yeah, go either. Yeah. He's a little dazed. Okay, he competitor asked his coach set. what happened. Okay, hand It like a meteorite hitting planet Earth when he connected with his face. Right hand on three, blue. Where it's not for cash, it was like a paper airplane touching down. Let's see what this is. Let's see what he's got. One. It's slow. It's not going back enough. It doesn't do it back that big. The Hawaiian hitman shaking off like it's nothing. I feel for Slap for Cash. Because he's about to feel the canvas. Hold this. Hey, finish in this hurt. Dane Bierna has told us. Finish him this time. Let's go, baby. This is your time. His profile you on social media Get has gone up. Him. Let's go, baby. Just good for the fact that he's fighting so Slap for Cash. What happens if he Everybody finishes ready? him here? You got 30 I seconds think he to get may in there. just let's do go. that. But hey, 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 listen, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You know? I, that was just a question. I know. Okay, competitor set. No, it was me. Okay, hand and count. <laughs> it was me. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's do it. All right. Red is left hand on three. This left hand on power. three. Must right. measure. Twenty dollars. I, I say slap the cash. Go to sleep. I hope these catchers are ready. You won't take the bet. One, two. Oh, that is over. Three, four. He's out. Oh, there's there's no point counting. It's done. It's over. Is Still out. at four. Get in. He is man. done. Wow. Slap for cash 
He slapped to sleep. But thank you. There we go, there we go, be a good sport. You could say it's a slap on the man, take your time. That was good. That was really good. It was bad. No. It was bad, it was bad. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what wasn't bad. That shot, oh my oh, God, look Jesus. at that. All he right. does not look good today. Stay Monster there, stay there, relax. Brought to you by Monster Energy. Relax. Unleash the beast. Relax, take it easy, buddy. Just stay down there. Listen, this is the game we play. This is what you sign up for. And what he signed up for was one hell of a shot. That's almost 400 pounds of Hawaiian barbecued beef taking your head off and putting you to sleep. The uh, world's strongest men had no chance at uh, keeping him from going down. My goodness. He does yeah. not know what planet he's on. It ain't planet Earth right now. No, it's not. He's flying. He's on one of Jupiter's moons. He's seen the rings of Saturn. Let's out the roar with the slap. Does Dane Viernes and check out the fans. The Hawaiian hitman getting reactions out of everybody in the building. Well, it's the first fight on the main card. Now for the official decision brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. Big man trying to get up. Let's send it to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight seconds into round number two, referee Kerry Hatley calls a stop to the match for the winner by TKO Team, the Hawaiian Hitman, Viernes. When they come out with the super weight top five, one would assume that Dave Viernes is gonna be atop this list. Top of the list, top of the power, top of the class. I mean, come on, that was the best knockout all night against the biggest opponent that we've ever seen. Tonight's social media post brought to you by Happy Dad Hard Seltzer, no more skinny cans. What a performance. What a performance. One more look at the knockout. Uh, I mean, listen, you give it, you gotta take it. But look at that, I mean, that's... Well, here's the reality. That's not a good time. Here, here's the reality. Slap for Cash has never faced anyone, anyone like Dave Viernes. We're gonna have to take a break here because I, I believe that you're gonna shotgun a beer with no, Steve. No, 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 no. Well, Steve will do it. He's forcing me, but oh, I, is. I don't okay. know if I'm allowed. Well, hey, Steve. Hey, Steve, thanks no. for the extra beer, but yeah, I, I yeah. appreciate that. I, I would love to, maybe right. when we're done. When we're done. Okay. I want to keep my job. All right, you know? that's fine. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Cheers. All right, let's send it over to Charlie with our big winner. Dave Viernes. Yeah, big winner is correct. He comes in here saying number one in the world. Uh, your opponent, Slap for Cash, he talked a big game all week, but it was you delivering the big slaps. How do you feel right now? Man, I feel so excited to put on for my city. Hawaii, ne. You already know all the people watching, but I just pray for Slap for Cash, you'll be all right. I, I, I think he'll be all right, but the question is, how are you feeling? Did, did the slaps actually hurt and be honest with me? Yeah, automatic, all slap hurt, but it's just if you got, you got a chin, you can take it, that's what it is. So would you say at this point, is your stronger, is, this, is it your slaps that make you as great or your chin? Probably both all around, I tested tonight. So, I mean, he hit pretty hard, but I think I, I, I executed my hits more better and way more hard. So, you know, bless, bless up to him. Thanks for the opportunity, but this is so, Amazing, I'm out of body experience right now. Yeah, and this was the first super heavyweight fight in Power Slap. You have now paved the way for possibly a whole division. How does it feel to be the face and know that you are responsible for what could be next year? Oh, automatically, I'm just looking for, for all these opportunities and I'm taking everybody's name. I already said it, I already said it, I'm gonna do it and I did it tonight. How are you gonna celebrate? Oh, I'm gonna just, uh, Take a nap and then go hard. A nap? Yeah. I need a nap, but you know, I'm a big bear. I, I hibernate for a long time, so I need a nap. Because those shots, it really did hurt. Well, you deserve a nap. Congratulations, mm -hmm. and we'll see what's next. Yeah. All right, it. guys, back to you.
That post fight interview brought to you by 10X World. 10X your business, 10X your income, 10X your life. Go to 10xworld.com. We do have some celebrities in the house. There's a look at Steve Will Do It from the Milk Boys having to clean up after shotgun and all those beers. And Raiders defensive end, two time Pro Bowler Max Crosby is here as well. Power slap to Wolverine versus the Bell, presented by Monster Energy. Unleash the Beast. Our first title fight of the night is on the way. John Davis isn't just the middleweight champ. The machine has an unparalleled work ethic, making time to train before and after his job as a welder. He's putting in 14 hours a day with one goal in mind, to take the belt back to his hometown of Salem, Ohio, once again. And he knows all too well the test that lies ahead in Wesley Drain. All the smoke, a man of few words who plans on letting his strike do the talking in the most important match of his life. Middleweight title match presented by Rumble, bold and free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. It's John the Machine Davis and Wesley L. The Smoke Train. Only one man will leave as the 185 pound champion of the world. Michael, John Davis is going into his sixth fight in Power Slap. And he's one of those guys that seems to have gotten better with every match. Yeah, victories over Jawaski Bethley, John Kennedy, Jesse Nutting, and of course, last time out to become the champion, a knockout over Aziel Rodriguez. Now, you mentioned it before, John Davis is such a humble, hard-working guy. He's got three kids, he sets the alarm, he gets up at 2.50 a.m., he works out at 3.45, trains an hour, works 10 hours as a welder, does that six days a week, because he wants to show his kids the work ethic which he has and inspire them. He's middleweight. Striker rankings brought to you by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Hip Hop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. So it is the champion against the number one contender, Wesley Drain, and that is coming up in just a matter of moments. The champ's gonna have to wait his turn after winning the coin toss. Wesley Drain, the challenger, will be striking first. Certainly an advantage, but not as much as you might think. Just 53% of those who have strike first have gone on to win. As we look at the odds, Davis, a minus 120 pick him, slight, slight favorite. John Davis changed his life forever when he won the Power Slap middleweight title back in March. Now it's his job to keep that belt around his waist by halting the first challenger, Oklahoma's Wesson Drake. Last year at the Marks Exhibition, I weighed about 220, competed at heavyweight, and I've had to grind and work my ass off in some way, shape, or form every day to be able to maintain this and get to where I'm at. I'm sure people have all sorts of doubts about what we're doing, but especially when it comes to myself and the power that I possessed, I don't think people really believed I was capable of putting someone out that way, but after Azael, you know, went down and hit the table on the way down, I'm pretty sure that solidifies my power. I got in Power Slap because I wanted the world to see me. I want to be famous, I want to change the world. I'm here to change the world, and I will. Here at Power Slap, you know, you have the opportunity to give the person standing in front of you everything you have, and really just test yourself. One shot knockout power. The defensive side of it, it really just lets you test your chin, see how tough you are. If you really got what it takes to make it a combat sports game. There's so many dudes that seem crumble off one hit. I've taken so many hits and I have yet to fall. I love having the target on my chest, on my back, any direction people want to come at me from because, again, you know, I have a chip on my shoulder. My chip's bigger than theirs, I guarantee it. All that knockout life, I'm, I'm chasing that dragon for sure. If I can just keep knocking people out and end it as soon as possible, that's exactly what I want to do. I'm not just a belt holder. I'm not just keeping this warm for somebody. I'm here to stay. From tonight beyond here, I stack every brick that's laid on the foundation of my legacy. 
My fight with John Kennedy really opened up my eyes here in Power Slab. It showed me that there is a dog inside of me, and it just has to be awakened. I'm going to defeat John Davis because I'm number one and he's number two. I'm the best there is, and he's second. Everybody's knew this from day one. It's been a long ride, John. We both knew this day's been coming. I'm excited to knock you out. These final walkouts brought to you by 10X World, 10X Your Business, 10X Your Income, 10X Your Life. Go to 10xworld.com. Wesley Drain won the toss. The number one middleweight contender, his last fight, a split decision win over Emmanuel Mooney's. The handyman from Oklahoma says he is uh, changing things up just a little bit going into this one. Yeah, that's right. He said, this experience has been a wild ride for him. He just can't believe what he's experiencing. He said, pick me up in a nice limousine. I got my face on the poster. I'm still training mixed martial arts because, you know, I want my son to own an action figure of me one day. So certainly Wesley, you know, he's got grandiose ideas of what he's going to achieve, but he's doing fantastic things. As you mentioned, last time I got the job done over Emmanuel that we need to earn the title fight. And when we spoke to him this week, he was very nonchalant, very laid back. And I said, why are you so calm? He said, because I know. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to put this man to sleep. He said, listen, I like him. We train together on the show. Nothing personal, all business. But I know 100% when this is done, I will be the champion. He was so relaxed, so calm, he almost wondered if he had a pulse. It yeah. was very abnormal in our fighter meetings, but it, it's kind of who he is, kind of what makes him him. He does have three amateur, one pro MMA fight, even trained in Jackson Wink for a while. Middleweight champ of Power Slap, John the Machine Davis, 30 years old from Salem, Ohio. He won the middleweight title in March with a first round KO against Azael Rodriguez. We talked about his work ethic. It is absolutely off the charts. 14 hour days between, between training and work, Charlie Arnold. Yeah, off the charts is an understatement, guys. When's the last time you woke up at 2.50 in the morning for a workout? Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's what time he wakes up every day so he can hit the gym for an hour before work. Then he takes advantage of a 30 minute lunch break for another session. Oh, and it doesn't stop there because then he works out after work too. So he's working 10 hour days, training three times a day, but he says the structure is perfect for him. And also, this is cute, serves as a great example for his kids. He said the other day his 10 year old daughter, just on her own, started running on the treadmill and she also signed herself up for soccer lessons. So he's clearly setting a good example in his household. He's setting a fantastic example. When you look at him and you hear from him, he's very hard working and all the rest of it, but he's got an interesting approach. He's training the, the, the rules, if you will. You know, he knows, listen, I'm gonna transfer my power, I'm gonna generate more power, but I gotta do it the proper way without breaking the rules. I can't lift my feet. He said, also now, Dan, I'm a local celebrity. People are reaching out, and even strangers are saying that he has inspired them to start working out and get in better shape. Bit well done, a, that man. Bit of a hometown hero. Power Slap 2 available for betting. Must be 21 years of age or older. Void where prohibited. Scan the QR code now to learn more or contact your favorite local sports book. There 
is the champion as we take a look at the tail of the tape brought to you by Happy Dad Hard Seltzer. No more skinny cans. One year separates these two men in age. They both stand six feet tall. A four inch reach advantage for the challenge. Wesley Train. With that, we are set for a title fight and we send it to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is presented by Rumble, bold and free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. This match is scheduled for five rounds, all for the Power Slap Middleweight Championship of the World. <laughs> Introducing first, out of the blue corner, holding a professional record, two wins, zero losses. He stands six feet tall. Weighing in officially at 184 pounds. Out of Telequan, Oklahoma. He is the challenger, the number one ranked middleweight contender in the world. Wesley, all the smoke dream. And now introducing his opponent, in the red corner, with a professional record, four wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 183 pounds. Out of Salem, Ohio, he is the reigning, defending, undisputed, power slap, middleweight champion of the world, John the Machine Davis. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Chris Tyone. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Wesley Drain. Rumble, bold and free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. Our very first title match right, of the evening. Coming between Wesley Drain from Tahlequah, Oklahoma, and John the Machine Davis from okay. Tiny Salem, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Grew up on an ostrich farm in Homeworth, Ohio. Little tiny town says he goes there and people right want to take three, pictures with him now. Okay, right on three. He needs to bring that belt back. All right, here we go. Wesley Drain with the first shot. The Eight. longer reach. Your feet. The bigger leverage. There you go. Thank you. But he didn't seem that That's motivated the other day. However, the lights are on. One. The count is on. Two. And the slap is on. Oh, he rolled with it though. He rolled oh. with it. <laughs> oh, no first Fair blow. Saying you're a chump and did not phase me. Well, that was cool the way he took that. I mean, yeah. definitely. Really Let's go. Let's go. Very close. Let's go, John. Doing the old Adesanya against Paul Tapahara. Oh, there you go. Taking the shot with the, cr cr uh, the bow and arrow, the crossbow, I almost said. Well, you, did say, you said leverage, and we say leverage in America, so it's okay. You don't say everything right. I'm right hand English. on three, you must <laughs> you know? measure. Okay? That is your measure. Look at this peak velocity. Fifth fastest slap on the card. Here we go. And look at the wind up. Look how low he goes. Two. Oh. He heard oh, his arm. No way. Oh, no way. Oh, no. Hyper extended the elbow on the shoulder. Hey. Oh, this is a real shame. We haven't seen this before. No, nope. Wesley took that, no problem. Okay. We hear him talk about this all the time in training. A lot of times it's the elbow, not necessarily the shoulder. Yep. But it looked yeah, like it was the shoulder that he hurt. But you Let's can hit him harder. Let's go. Stop. Stop. Oh. In the shoulder. Oh, I no. think it came out. He went straight. Uh, yeah, I think it popped out for a second. Because look, now he's manipulating the arm, trying to get it back in. Can you, can you bring it all the way up for me? I think it was a slight separation there for a minute and went okay. right out. back in. Okay. I think it popped out. Right, gonna, I think it dislocated. You can use his left. I can use my left hand. Yes, sir. Okay. Left. All right. Don't it's okay. It's okay. He has to use he's going to use his left. It's up to him. Okay. To Robert Trey Hill right. shouted okay. out. You got two arms. Step in. Step in. I would say most likely he won the first round, wouldn't you say, Michael? Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> certainly the biggest okay. shot. <laughs> the problem is it did the damage okay, to him. Okay, competitor set. Not to Wesley Drain. Hand, hand and count. Right on well, how ambidextrous are you? Here, look, 
Okay. What'd you say? Right on three. No, that was good. Measure. That was good. You yeah, did well okay, there. Okay. You did that well there. I know you're the king of English. Uh-huh. King of big blood. <laughs> One. Charles. Charles. Two. Oh! oh, that was a big one. Stumbled him backwards. Massive. Massive. Back to the table. Wesley drained with the biggest shot I believe we've seen him land. With the double thumbs up. Yeah, listen, John Davis, I mean, he's been a part of some sensational he's matches. Right but this is by far my the toughest matchup right that right he's now. been involved yeah. with. The he's hardest shot left, that he's ever left. taken. You feel, you feel now okay he's going to respond hit? with yeah, his bad arm okay. after he blew yeah, out the shoulder. Yeah, his previous strike. That was a heavy shot by Wesley Drake. Got 20 seconds. Does he go with his left hand or his right hand here? Perfect position. And remember, title fights are five rounds. Not a three-rounder like the rest of them. Competitor set. So he's going to go with his left. Left, on three. left I mean, hand sucks. on three. This you is like measure. throwing with your left, left hand. Left hand this is on tough. three. That is your measure. Start writing with your left hand. One. Let's see what he's got, though. Two. You never know. Let's go! No, no, no. no, no that's not going to do it. it. That will not do it. That will not Good. win it. That will lose you the belt. It's a shame. Wesley Drain is absolutely licking his chops, knowing that he most likely has this in the back. Yours, All he has to do is avoid <laughs> the foul. Good, bro. But when he was he his own lich, his own lich. Right now, look, watch. There it is. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Perfect. No good. <laughs> no. It, 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 it is. It is so hard set. to slap with your off hand. And then, right, right on three, man. Right on three. He's like right Let's on measure. three, man. He's looking forward to this. <laughs> Measure for Wesley Drain. One, two. Oh. Oh. Foul! Flinching! Foul! As well. Flinching! It's such a shame. It's not going the way of John Davis tonight. No, it's, it's a morning. not. The first shot. Yes, sir. So He's Wesley Drain gets to strike right. again. So it's the choice of yeah, Wesley choice. Drain. Does he want to strike again? But what logical human being on earth would not strike I just again? Want to take his belly just slapped me in the face. I'm slapping him right back. Watch the watch, watch feet here. Okay. It's okay. Come on. Huh? Yeah, a little lift here. on the left. Are you calling that? Okay, but the, the flinch takes precedence. Oh, that's a stepping. Okay. So we have a double foul. Okay. Son of a bitch, and we'll hit you again. Okay. Oh, and a club. Oh, that's brutal. Get set. Chin right there, you're good. Okay. So, get set. I'll, I do love Competitor to set. go again, despite right the stepping yes, call. Right on three with the measure. That's your measure. One, two. Ah. Look how quick he comes back with that. Foul. Stepping foul. again. And you never know. And they call the stepping this time. Listen, that's the only way Wesley Drake One can point lose his blue foul. Stepping. It's the only way. One point blue stepping. One point blue stepping. So Wesley loses yeah. a point. Come on, bud. Go ahead and get set. So all John Davis has to do is land a legal blow. Oh, oh yeah. And he wins this round. Step up. Stay right there, chin down. Even chin with. Down. I'm a step in the Look at me. Call this Stay right there. Up. Okay, chin up. Stay right there. Okay. Step in. So all John Davis needs okay. here left is a clean three. strike left on and three. he wins the measure. round. And he gets a 10-8 round. That's your measure. I, he could still be in this thing, despite the fact he's thrown with his off hand here because he hit his shoulder. At the very least a draw. Two. Better. Yeah, didn't hurt him, but it wins it the round and with the point deduction as well. That's 10-8, John Davis. And you would assume he won the first round, at least he would on my scorecard if I were keeping it. John Davis? Yeah. John Davis. It was a hell of a slap so hard, in fact, that he blew his shoulder out. You're in good position. Round two, he lost without question. But he won this round because of the penalties, 10-8. So by my math. Competitor set, right on three, must measure. Yeah, we'll take a look at it in a second. You're working on your scorecard. There it is. So That's Davis is measure. up 29-27 yes, through three rounds on your scorecard. Can he stay conscious, though? 
One, two. Uh -oh. That was a stumble. Yes, that's a deep press. The club as well. Yeah, he's still he's still wobbling. Up to yeah, he's good though. He's holding that button or baton. Baton. Stop it. Yes. Bullying me. My mental health. <laughs> I'll tell you what, John Davis is one tough cookie, man. Hey, <laughs> that's not open for You're debate. Up. We know One that. point, okay? So hit him clean with Time. the left hand. Time! Doc! I'm gonna have the back look at you, okay? Let's go! Doctor coming out to check on the champ, John Davis. And I'm not looking, but they're saying that he's flinching every time John is here. So just track it. He's good. So they're he's fine. keeping an eye on the flinching, go checking to make sure okay. the okay. machine right. is John. right John. to continue. Hey, clean hit with this left hand. <coughs> Next hit, we're finishing with your right, okay? Go when you're oh. ready. You got this, baby. It's all How you. about that game plan? Whoa. Robert Trujillo. Yeah, I mean, listen, that's like, go, you know, Jim's put all good. your chips in, go yeah, for Brown. Yeah, you're going to potentially never use your right arm again, but you might win the Left bounce. on three, oh, oh. what's the measure? Jeez Left on Louise. three. Yeah, looks a little out of range. Two. He does. You're right. He's landing with the fingers, not it as is. much the Fair palm. Low. I think you're exactly right. He's not yeah. close enough. For all the work that he's done, for everything, everything he talks about, the training, the early starts, the, stars, the discipline, the dedication, okay. he's not close enough. You're exactly he's right. He's hitting with the fingers. He needs to be three inches right closer. Stay right there. Okay. 38-37 on your scorecard going into round five. Can the champion hold on? Can he stay conscious? Time. Time. And can he win the final round? Or even if he loses and he's conscious, it's a draw. Okay. He's been given two warnings and a point. Okay. So what was that? Chris Tognoni talking okay, to the careful with the switch, okay? about Stay the set. flinching. Right there. Okay, step in. It's a final warning set. for flinching. Right on so three. they've deducted a point, it. they've yeah. warned him twice. It happens again, they'll take a measure. point. And that was commissioned with Jeff Mullins for the record. One, two. Ah, oh, heavy blow. Stays on the feet, he's fine. He's fine. Oh. And a step. Okay, and a step. Yeah. Okay. The, pe the penalty could very well one point blue cost clubbing. Drain this fight. One point blue I mean, clubbing. Without the use one point of blue his clubbing. slapping right arm. Here. High drama in the power slap arena. This is crazy. All he right had to do was score be score clean card. to win a title. And good, Wesley Drain unable to avoid the penalty. Round. He's looking at me right now it. saying, what the F? You have a perfect hit. Throw it if you need. Everyone oh, wants that to see was a club. But that was too high. That was a, that you got, was a you good got the call. match. This is your call here, champ. Let's good get it. Call. The club did like it. It's still have a minute time. That's right. That's right. If you want to take that time. Because it well was. I, 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 you know, you get it. That was good. Come on uh, in, big guy. All right, Come on in. Go ahead and get set. So, so Davis lands a clean blow. Look at the side of his face. His coach said, use your right arm, which is severely compromised. Right there, okay? right Robert Trujillo wants him to throw the right. He might think that he needs okay. to go for the knockout here, which I just don't think is the case. I think if he lands a clean blow, Davis holds on to the belt. And he can do significant injury by using the right arm again. I'm a step in the motherfucker. It's a big risk. I'm sorry. You're good. You're good. That's nice. Drain apologizes yep. for okay. step. Good sportsman. And Competitor set. Right on three. Right on three. He's right on three. Right, 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 right. Get this guy to be here. Where Steve will do it. Oh, One. The ball's up this man. All right He's going this. Going all in. Well. Oh. 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 Oh.
What? Foul, oh, Steppy. They called a stepping oh, foul. Oh, 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 you One point stepper. red, Steppy. That could cost One him point the title. Red, Steppy. Oh, this is bananas. One point red, I can't believe we're seeing this many fouls in a championship fight. Lost the feet. Good job, guys. Little pick up on the left. Uh, yeah. It's a step. That's the right call. It's a step. You can only have a minor Good heel job. lift. I think he was so worried about the impact of what it was going to do to his shoulder. Well, again, you know, you're in the fifth round. The belt is on the line. You want to deliver the best blow. You focus on the power. You forget about the technique. Will it cost him the title, though? I don't know. I can't wait to see your scorecard because this is really, really close. Hold on. Let's take a look. So you have Davis holding on just by a whisker. 47-46. Break this down for us, Bisbee. Well, it all comes down to the third round. Remember, we had a step and we had a club from Wesley Drain. That caused him to lose two points. And Davis, even though it was you know, kind of a weaker hit, a weaker slap, he still won the round 10-8. And because of that, I say, and still, you he, he goes home as the champ. I agree. It's it's amazing considering what went down when his shoulder popped out of socket. He couldn't use his right arm. He had to swing with his off hand. All Wesley Drain needed to do was land clean strikes the rest of the way because Davis simply didn't have enough power in his left hand to do any damage. All he had to do was take the emotion out of it. You know right. what I mean? Look you're at right. it as a business and go, okay, here we go. But how hard is that when you're in? It's very there. hard, especially when a guy's teeing off on your face. Right here, you want to get revenge. You want to show the world you can hit hard. You want to send the message. Wesley. You know, so that, that alpha male Good syndrome, job, if you will, kind of takes over and you forget about the basics. You forget about the scoring. And I'll just throw Ryan Phillips under a bus. He should have oh. told him, hey, buddy, just land a legal blow. Let's find out what happened. The official decision brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. Justin Bernard, what do you have? Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 47-46 for the winner by unanimous decision and still... Power Let's Slap go! Middleweight Champion of the World, Thanks. Sean the Machine Davis. Good sportsmanship there from Wesley Drain. Drain obviously thought he had won it, but it is the fouls that cost Drain the title. John Davis, who had a stepping foul of his own in the fifth round, able to escape and take home the belt once again. Huge for the machine. I mean, what a story that was. What a ride we just went on. You know, it looked like he was done after the first round when he blew out the shoulder or the elbow. But somehow, some way, stays in the game, retains the belt, and goes home as the champion. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, let's take a look at everything that happened with Davis here. All of his slaps in this epic five-rounder. Here's the first one. That's the one that hurt him. Uh, I don't know if it was elbow or shoulder, but I think it was his shoulder. So he something. moves to the left hand here, Bisping. Yeah, it wasn't effective, though. And again, way out of range. I mean, the fingers just barely glanced him. Look, that one was a little better. Here's round four. Fingers only again. And then on round five, here it is for the win. Switches back to the right despite the injury. And our middleweight champ, John the Machine Davis, is with Charlie. Yeah, and still your middleweight champion, John Davis. First slap, you hurt yourself. Talk to me about what happened there. Uh, my shoulder went a little unstable on me there and, you know, kind of got stuck. So I had to rearrange it and go with the other hand. Uh, wasn't was not the game plan at all going into this. Definitely had to go up there and gut it out, you know, all all props to Wes, you know, he was a freaking animal up there. We both, you know, had a few mistakes here and there and did what we had to do. Luckily, I was able to fight through all of the issues and come out on top. Yeah, so in your training, because you obviously had to pivot to a different strategy using your left hand, do you expect, I mean, you obviously don't expect anything like seven, but do you, do you train and do you, do you have something in place where you've practiced with your left hand? Absolutely. Um, 
I feel like being uh, even on both sides is helpful, especially in this game, because if I wasn't training with my other hand, I would have lost the fight in the very first round. So once all of the fouls started coming into play, did it occur in your mind, hey, I might actually have a shot at winning this still? Yeah, I feel like him and I both had a lot of anticipation going into this, and we had it very built up in our heads, and the, the pressure was on us from ourselves more than anybody else. And you can tell there was a lot of emotion on, on both sides because you're friends, right? This is more than just a competition. This is two friends facing off here. And even you heard Wesley say, I want to take his belt, but I don't want to hurt him. What was it like being up there with emotion so high in an experience like this? Uh, it's, it's hard because in all reality, you know, I want him to try and knock me out. That's the name of this game. We're here to put each other down and out and also in, in the clean manner and by the rule set. So... You know, it's very contradictive for me to say I wish he would have knocked me out, if anything, but that's, that's how this game goes, and I'm glad that I'm still here at number one, or champion, I should say, not number one, champ. Well, at the end, when your name was called as the winner, I saw the look on your face. You, you weren't sure what Justin was going to say, and you had won. So now that you are still champion, what's next for you? Um, a, lot of, a lot of corrections, a lot of going back and starting over. I've thought I've put in plenty of hard work and, and time, and it's time to go back to the drawing board, redo, get whatever ailments I have now taken care of, and then on to the next one. Well, congratulations. Still the champion. You should be very proud of yourself. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm happy to be here. Absolutely, guys. Back to you. Weathered the storm and weathered the injury. That post-fight interview brought to you by 10X World. 10X your business, 10X your income, 10X your life. Go to 10xworld.com. Epic performance from John Davis. A final few moments in the locker room for light heavyweight champ AJ Hintz before he defends his title for the first time. He seemed unflappable all week, almost as if he was put on earth to slap the crap out of people. Static is just different. And for that matter, so is Russell Rivero. The Stoic Hawaiian is expecting to exact revenge in this rematch with Hintz, who got the better of him in December. Now Kainoa believes it's his time to wear the belt. One title fight down, two to go, and the light heavyweight championship co-main event. It's presented by Happy Dad Hard Seltzer. No more skinny cans. It's the rematch that we have all been waiting for. Hints versus Rivero. The biggest question going into this one, Michael, is what Rivero learned from that last matchup. Never got a chance to strike because of a penalty, and he paid the price. Yeah, that's absolutely right. If we look at it here, I mean, AJ hits, I mean, he hit it, hit him harder. One and done. Look at that, look at the legs shaking. Listen, Rivero is an incredibly strong man, and he can take a shot, he can give a shot. But on this occasion, AJ hits, I mean, that was the headshot kill. That was Leon Edwards versus Kamara Usman. That was it, one and done, good night, Vienna. Indeed, the co-main event is on the way, and for the second time in his many meetings with Rivero, Hintz wins the coin toss and will strike first. Certainly a slight advantage for the champ, but if Rivero can weather the storm, he'll get a chance to make Hintz feel his power for the first time. The heat is real between rivals AJ Hintz and Russell Rivero, and tonight they meet again. This time to not just settle the score, but to see who leaves Las Vegas with the power slap title. to beat Vernon Cathay. He did the impossible. Champion of the world.
knocking Vern out for the belt and Dano putting the belt around my waist. It was an amazing feeling, just like, it's surreal. Y'all like this? Woo! Damn, it looks good on me! So the first fight we had, when he swung, I dipped into it. I guess I dipped too hard. Boom, I was just ringing. Never heard, this was like, Nee. But the second shot, boom, it took my ass. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hats off to him. Told him right after the fight, he to go f bitch. Oh, there it is. Sits him right down. That was a firm blow. Russell Kainoa Rivero. This guy, he's got massive power, let me tell you. Personally, I think Russell's overrated all around, like in general. He's not as impressive as everybody thinks. I'm gonna sleep him on the first half. He might even flinch again just because he's a f bitch like that. Who are you knocking out your shoes, bro? Huh? Who are you knocking out their shoes, bro? Right here, look at me, Russell. I see it on my mouth. Look at this, like on bird. Chirp, 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 chirp. If I win that toss, you're going to sleep, guarantee. He's out, eviscerated. I get to knock this clown out and then take the belt. It was meant to be. Perfect, perfect opponent. I was gunning for this guy. From the start, ever since I got here, I've been telling everyone, I'm one of the biggest, meanest guys you got. So I want to come out and put him down. Russell thinks he's getting this belt. You better come with at least 10, 20 dudes. You can't have it. It's mine. I seen the fear in his eyes. He ain't getting the belt. Here is the challenger, Russell Rivero, 30 years old, from Ava Beach, Hawaii, currently living in Fort Worth, Texas. This dude is powerful, benching 420 pounds at one point, top five in velocity, power, and neck strength. Charlie, he has it all. He does have it all, and something that exists between these two that I think is at the next level than any of the, uh, the other competitors that we've seen on the card is the level of animosity. Rivero has every intention, he said, on taking AJ's chin, also his title away from him. Russell said since his last fight, his main focus has been working on keeping his feet planted because he did encounter a couple of pivoting fouls versus Isaiah Quinones. And when I asked him how he saw this fight going down versus AJ, his exact words, I am going to sink him like a ship. Sink him like a ship, indeed, and that will be beautiful to see. This man's a hard worker, works many, many hours just trying to give his family the best life. And yeah, look, this is a rematch. He's stepping in there against somebody that knocked him out before. But when he spoke about it, he said, Hits, he looks like an ugly girl, but that thick bitch got me. <laughs> That's his words, by the way, not mine. It's always a weird one, you know, when you're going up against somebody that has not put you to sleep, but knocked you out. You know, there could be psychological damage there. You've got to worry about the hit. You know, maybe he's going to flinch. He cannot do that at this level of the game for the title. He's going to focus on the rules. Listen, you think about delivering the perfect shot, you want to knock your man out. But defensively, you can make a lot of mistakes as well. So, you've got to take the emotion out of it. Try and keep a calm mind. Cool, calm, and collected. A plus 375 dog, one of the biggest dogs on the card coming in. AJ Hits, ladies and gentlemen, 28 years old. A friendship Wisconsin native right out of the Milwaukee area. And this is one of the breakout stars in Power Slap. Has the strongest neck of any striker ever tested at the PI. Big dreams, wants to be a three division champion. He's already 
what, one third of the way there, 33% there, and minus 550, he's the biggest favorite on the card. Yeah, when we spoke to him this week, I said, so what's changed? He said, well, before I didn't have any money. So right after this, I got married to my lady. We got married in the Chapel of Flowers. So far, so good a married life. And it feels like Russell doesn't even want to be there. He says he doesn't want this rematch. I said, what have you done to up your game? What have you done to improve? He said, nobody puts fear in me to where I have to go away and up my game. I believe in my power. This is what I was built for. And he firmly believes that he will repeat history and put Russell Kinoa back to sleep. This is a guy who has embraced this sport. One of the first stars that we've seen, perhaps the best pound for pound fighter that we have seen in Power Slap in the first year. At minus 550, as I mentioned, the biggest favorite on the card. AJ Static Hinch grew up as a head banger and a skater growing up. One of the few black kids in a mostly all white town. Says everything didn't always go his way. He's trying to change that here as we take a look at the tail of the tape brought to you by Happy Dad Heart Seltzer. No more skinny cans. Russell Rivero, the underdog, one inch taller. And you can see the champion with the two inch reach advantage. And there is a look at the numbers. A massive favorite going into the title fight. Let's send it to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Presented by Happy Dad Hard Seltzer. No more skinny cans. This match is scheduled for five rounds, all for the Power Slap Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first, out of the blue corner, he stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 202 and one half pounds. Out of Fort Worth, Texas, he is the challenger, the number three ranked light heavyweight contender in the world, Russell Kainoa Rivero. And now introducing out of the red corner, holding a professional record, four wins, one loss. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Out of Friendship, Wisconsin, he is the reigning, defending, right. undisputed power Ooh. slap light heavyweight champion of the world, again. AJ Static Hits. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Light work, AJ. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, AJ Hints. Thank you, Olivia and Sabrina. Power Slap 2 available for betting. Must be 21 years of age or older. Void where prohibited. Scan the QR code now to learn more or contact your favorite sports book. Gentlemen, send her up. AJ Hintz winning the toss. Yeah. Yeah. So the it. champion in the mind is 550 yeah. favorite yeah. will go yeah. first. Stand by. Uh, you ready? ready? Look at this. You ready? Yeah, you sure? Back. 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 You sure? Sure. Sit up. You ready? Right you want this? Box. You're right here. Remember here. last time? Get yourself in the box. It's in there. Come back. Don't be shaking, Come back. bro. Come Why are you shaking already? Look at you AJ Hintz Time. is a character. Time. Get in your space right here. You're good. In your space. You good in your spot? Feet closer together. Just oozes Red is one to toss. The light heavyweight one champion. hand and what count? Right hand, two. right hand on two. Right hand on two. When you're ready, fighter set. Right hand on two. Here we go. Right hand on two. Look at the one. Let's fuck the ball. Oh, he ate it. Easy. He ate it. Easy, it. Easy money. Revenge on the champion. That's what's so good about this. You know, especially when you take it like that. When it doesn't even hurt. When it doesn't face you. Let's give him some, bro. Give him some stink. We talked about the power. We talked about the strength of Rivero. Now we get to see it in action. And, and don't forget, on the main card so far, 
the man yeah, who the ball, is second oh, is 2-0. Oh. Come on! Make it clean. Oh, oh, which this which is hand? Right what count? Right, right hand, hand got on three. By Vern Kathy feet, as right? well. Your feet in. Right hand on three. You're good. Right hand on three. Look at AJ though, loving it. One. No phased. Two. Wait for it though. Kainoa with the club, got way high on the neck. Yeah, Apologizing to the chair. Clean, man. Good aim. You're good. You got time. You got some time here. You're foul. I'll tell you what, AJ has got back here if he wants chin. I mean, that was a club. When it was down, a foul. Too, right? It was a heavy shot. Lot, and he didn't even up, blink. Didn't, didn't move. Right? Didn't move. Yeah. In there. Looked him right <laughs> in the eye. Good. You good? All right, he had his eyes shut, but whatever. Right when you're ready. But oh, you're that right. was clearly a club. You're right. Right here. Barely moves. He has the strongest neck of anybody Ready? ever tested at the here? PI for power slap. There you go. Very good. <sighs> Ready? You're good. Right here. All right. So, big foul point deduction. So, that first round's going to go to Hintz. Right hand two again. Right hand on two. Right hand on two. You good? You're ready. Yeah, but somebody's going to sleep. I can feel it. We got five rounds. Why these guys hit hard? <clears throat> ah, that ain't gonna do it. Clubbing. Nope. Foul clubbing. Foul clubbing. Now AJ knew right away that that was a clubbing foul. Did you see how bent the elbow was? These guys have talked about wanting to bring it in almost like a hook shot as opposed to a slap. Didn't really work there. I mean, when you know, you know. Fair enough, you, know, you, know, like, you know. But don't call it out. The referee might not see it. You both have done a clubbing foul, right? Look at how high the hand is. You both got a warning for that. Ah, that was a bad shot. It, it's After vertical it's okay. instead of horizontal. Okay. Yep. Right there. Behind your back. All right, so they're right a club of peace now. Right here. I'll leave it. Both hands on, please. Everybody's in the right club here. so far, buddy. Chin up, please. Oh, come on. Chin up. Get off. Oh, I'm gonna go. Go. I got you. I know. I'll forgive you for that. Good. Thank you. It's Which hand? What count? Right hand on three. Right hand on three. I right know. hand on three. On three. <laughs> Trying to lay him down. One. There's the kiss. Two. Is it the kiss of death? <laughs> oh! oh! The king is dead. Long live the king. What an upset. Perhaps the biggest upset we have ever seen in power slap. Wow. There's a foul for stepping. I got you. I got you. Anything else? Foul step. Jason Hurst yeah, is calling a foul. Foul for stepping. Let's just worry about him right now. Foul for stepping. Foul he doesn't win stepping. the foul. I know he feels that way. So, but so if step. that's a stepping foul, potentially a disqualification. Let's look at the feet. Just keep him over bit. here, please. Just keep oh, him right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a big step. That's hey. a huge step. And a big hey. miss step. So hey. here's what's going to happen, Break. ladies and gentlemen. There's a this step. AJ not Hintz win. is going to keep the title because he can't continue. Which and Russell Rivera is going to get DQ'd. Oh man. It's a disqualification. That's, That's the a rules. huge step. It's the rule. It's a huge step. A huge misstep. Well played. Yeah. You are absolutely correct. What a shot by Rivera. I don't think he has any idea what's about to happen. Well, no, exactly. He just got knocked out. He just got slept. When you come around like that, honestly, you don't really know what day it is. You don't really know what's happening. You don't know where you are at first. You know, it takes a little bit of time to gather your senses, to get you worried with all. You know, right now, he has no idea what's going on. And he's gonna be even more shocked when they say I'm still and hand him his belt bike. AJ just asked who, who had the foul, him or me, and I think he's starting to process it right now. So, Rivero oh. just walked off the stage because he was clearly informed. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Talk about an emotional roller coaster. Well, you go out there in your mind, you knock out the champ, you feel like you're going to be crowned the champion. He's furious. Of the Rivero's power furious. slap light heavyweight division. And look at this. Fuming. 
Walking right past Dana White with the belt, down yes. the stairs and out. And that visual, walking past Dana whilst he's carrying the belt, that just amplifies it. Oh, that's brutal. It is a feel for the guy. But it's a foul's a foul. Listen, that was a good call. You got to make the call. You can't step. Like, that's part of the safety of the sport, right? Like, if you're stepping, it, it, it changes the whole dynamic of the strike. It's like in the UFC, Aljamain Sterling, he got kneed in the head of Piotrian. Piotrian got disqualified. Yes. Aljamain became the champ, although AJ was already the champ. Because obviously, you're not going to continue, right? Because you're going to make the count. Which he committed a foul. Jason Herzog to, uh, explaining foul. what to, uh, went down. Right. Time for the official decision brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop with Kudo today, kudosnacksprotein.com. Let's send it to Justin Bernard, our power slap announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight seconds in round number two, referee Jason Herzog calls a stop to the match. For the winner, via disqualification by foul for stepping and still. Power Slap Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, AJ Static Hins. Foul all you want, baby. Yes, sir. So AJ Hints holds yeah, on to the title because of a stepping yeah. foul on Russell what Rivero. Rivero knocks him out. Hints unable to continue. My goodness, do we see a trilogy. Power Slap 2, Wolverine versus the Bell. Presented by Monster Energy, Unleash the Beast. It's almost here, the heavyweight champ, just a good old country boy from Arkansas. Wolverine delivers lumber by day, kicks ass by night. Says he carries all the lumber in his right arm to make sure it's as strong as possible when it matters most. And it matters tonight. The first heavyweight title defense for Wolverine against a man that he knows very well. Damian DeBell, his assistant coach on Power Slap Road to a title, knows what makes him tick and has been studying him for weeks, knowing that the time would come when these two would have to set friendship aside, and that time is now. Slap 2, Wolverine versus the Bell, presented by Monster Energy. Unleash the beast. It is a heck of a night here in Las Vegas at the Apex. Action packed as always. We told you we would have some finalists in the sweepstakes, winning a whole slew of prizes from Dana White and company. Jesse Hurtado going to sit with Kyle at UFC 289. Curtis Montez gets to gamble with Dana and Aiden Ross. Brian Alba gonna gamble with Dana and Taylor Lewan. Last time Taylor won 50 grand. And Otto Rabe gonna gamble with Dana and Steve will do it. That's a lot of gambling going on. Congratulations, fellas, for being a finalist. That is gonna be fun. And now we have reached the main event of the evening. This heavyweight title match presented by Rumble, bold and free. Download the Rumble app or just visit rumble.com. It's Wolverine versus his former assistant coach for Power Slap Road to a title, Damian DeBell. Only one man leaves as the heavyweight champion of the world. We are almost set for our final match of the night as the heavyweight title is on the line. Wolverine has the experience. The Bell has the power. The main event has arrived. An assistant coach on Power Slap Road to a title, Damian DeBell now gets the opportunity to challenge the head coach, Wolverine, Ron Pena, for the Power Slap Heavyweight Championship. Damian DeBell, they call him 
the bell, the youngest fighter on the car, just 21 years old, the assistant coach on the first season of Power Slap. I was feeling great going out there. I was calm. I was just my usual self. Whenever I go out there, that's how I try to be. I thought it could have gone either way, but after the first round, I felt a lot more confident going into it. On three, here comes the bell. One, two. I thought it was going to be a lot harder fight than it actually was. He is not getting up. It was a great feeling, my first fight in Power Slap to end that way on a really big knockout. So it kind of shot me up there in people's eyes. I'm hoping now that more people see that fight and see how much power I could put out and the kind of hits I could take pretty easily. I expect Ron to try to do everything he can to win this match. And I'm going to do the same. And we're just going to see who takes the belt at the end of the day. Damon, you'll be ready tonight, but I'm going to keep that belt around my waist. Ron Wolverine Beta. He only has three losses. All of those have been to Darius the Destroyer. Going into the fight, it really wasn't too nerve-wracking for me. I mean, it was a competitor I've been against, you know, a bunch of times. I didn't want to lose the fourth time to it. So I knew we both had to leave everything out there, and that's what I aimed to do. Come to me. Come to me. That's it. Wolverine takes it. To knock him out in the first round, it took me by quite a surprise. The night I won the Power Slap Heavyweight Championship, it was a great night. I want to keep it because, obviously, I mean, I was the first one to win it. I mean, it really don't count to me as right. being a champion until you at least defend it right. one time. Tip, I'm going to give Damien everything I got to keep that belt. Yeah. If it's leaving my waist, it's because I'm laying down on the ground. I'm not giving it to him. I expect it to be a really good fight. Ron has power, but I feel like I could take those shots. If I could take those shots, I know I could deliver even harder ones back. After I win tonight, I beat the two best competitors in the heavyweight division. I'm gonna bring my A game, the Bell needs to bring his A game, and we're gonna put on a hell of a show. Damien DeBell, the number one heavyweight contender, won the toss, earning a title shot with a win over Dwayne Crespo, a second round knockout. Power is the key for him. Number one human force and number one in impact power when they tested at the PI. This guy, massive. Massive is the word. And the relevance of that is that he's a true heavyweight, you know? Ron Vader, Wolverine, you know, he kind of bulked up. Yeah, he's, he's the heaviest he's ever been. He's 230 pounds. But he said he's been stuffing his face, consuming as many calories as possible. DeBell is just naturally this size. Natural power, size, strength, the ligaments, the tendons. He was born as a natural heavyweight. And there's a big difference in that. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that will make a difference when it comes to the power. And the numbers which you just said, they don't lie. With a bit of amateur boxing, you know, the man's a smart guy, he's training to be a lawyer. A lawyer, there you go. That, the, the word lost me there. <laughs> training to be a lawyer in his spare time, online courses, hopes to go to college eventually. We're coming into this very, very confident. You know, he used to coach Ron Beta on the show. He said, I've seen his power, I know what he's capable of. Not underestimating him, but he firmly believes that tonight he goes home as the champion. He is the most powerful man in the promotion. It is rather incredible when you look at the numbers. Our social media posts brought to you by Happy Dad Heart Seltzer. No more skinny cans. And this is the assistant coach from Power Slap Road to a title looking to win a title here tonight.
Power Slap's first ever heavyweight champion, Wolverine Ron Beta. He slayed the dragon in Power Slap 1, the first person in 17 fights to beat Darius the Destroyer, a first round TKO. You mentioned it earlier, he put on 20 pounds of muscle for that fight. He's never been dropped, backed up just one time, and that was in the lights fight. And he's been dropping that epic 27 rounder against yeah. Darius the Destroyer. Yeah, hell of a chin. And he's a hell of a man. I mean, you said it before, he's just a good old fashioned country boy. I mean, listen to the music, you know. He's just here to represent his family, his hometown. Give them the best life possible. He's got three kids, Bailey, Ronnie, Kaylin. His fiance is here in the building. His father's here, his brother Charles. You know, he's trying to inspire them, trying to give them the best life possible. And he believes he was born for this. Still delivering lumber, as you said before, carries it with his right hand so he gets stronger, lifting weights, using medicine ball, rotating, rotating it into posts, slapping cedar posts every day. He said, I do it about 10, 15 times, as hard as I can. Look at it, look build at up it. the toughness. And there's the, the shit kickers on go. display every time. I love this guy. There's He's no great. smack talk. He's just a nice, hard-working, humble dude. And I love the fact that his dad, Ron, a 26-year veteran of the military, is here along with his brother. His brother had to take leave from the Navy, take a little vacation to come here and watch. Wolverine attempt to defend his title for the very first time. Yeah, and hey, the listen. Beard, the twang, he has it all. Oh, yeah. I mean, last time out, he put Darius to sleep. That's going to give him a lot of confidence. But the bell is a different beast. Indeed, he is. The tail of tape brought to you by Happy Dad Hard Seltzer. No more skinny cans. Here's a look at the numbers. The bell is one inch taller. Look at that, 17 pounds heavier, has a two inch reach advantage. Simply, Damien the Bell, just 21 years old, has the youth, has the power, has the size, but Wolverine has the belt. The question is, can the Bell steal it from him? Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Commissioner Anthony A. Marnell III, and Executive Director Jeff Mullen. Our judges stage side are Tim Cheatham, Sal Diamato, and Chris Miglior. And is presented by Rumble, bold and free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now about to witness the main event of the evening. From the Power Slap Arena inside the UFC Apex, and the millions watching live on Rumble. Brace for impact. The power is on. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, with a professional record, three wins, one loss. He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 247 and one half pounds. Out of Ruskin, Florida, he is the challenger and the number one ranked heavyweight contender in the world, Damien the Bell to Bell. And now introducing out of the red corner, holding a professional record of 12 wins, three losses. He stands six feet, one inches tall. Weighing in at 230 and one half pounds. Out of Mountain Home, Arkansas, he is the reigning, defending, undisputed power slap heavyweight champion of the world, Wolverine. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mark Smith. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Damien DeBell. Props to watch on the main event, minus 125 on the no. This fight will not end in the first round, minus 105 on the yes. This fight will not see a second round. Rumble, bold and free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. All right, gentlemen, to the center. So, the champ, the Rob Beta, posture. the Wolverine. We know he hits hard, but can he take right a shot from the bell? Up a little bit. We're about to find out right here. We talked about the power of this youngster. 
has it all, number one in human on force, stop. number three. one in impact three. power. Right hand on three, you must measure. The assistant coach with Wolverine on season one of measure. Power Slap Road to a title. Here we go. Look at the size of that hand. That's a big one. hand with big power. Two. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh. He's on over the place. The Lord laying down the law. Oh. 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 Go talk to your coach and recover. Brendan Fitzgerald will be proud of the alliteration. <laughs> How about a little help from Zach Candido on that? Hey, take your time. You got, you got 40 How about seconds. This? You sure? That's the most okay. we've seen Wolverine ready. stumble back. So I'm not time. surprised. Huh? The so size of the mod. When you're ready, let's go. The swing that he delivers. About 30 seconds, okay? You know I got 20. We're good. Go. All right. 25. Now, there you go. It's the turn of the Wolverine. Payback good. is a good. bitch. Fire <laughs> set. Hand in count. Right down, right down, right down. Here we go. Right hand on three. You must measure. Measure. Yeah. It's a little out of range, if you ask me. Oh. Bow! Flinching! Bow! Flinching! One-eyed stare. I'm clenched. Oh, they called a flinching foul. I thought they were going to call clubbing. Okay. What you got against people with one eye? <laughs> <laughs> wrong. I love wrong. people. Nothing eye. wrong with strike a one-eyed star. Would you like to strike again? Okay. Okay. He gets a free shot. Okay. Second okay, position. indeed. Cannot Two for flinching. Spot. It's a huge Fighter penalty. All penalties count. big, but flinching you really right pay the price. On three, you must measure. If measure. the bell flinches again, he loses a point one. at the round. Two. But does he lose his consciousness? No, he doesn't. He's good. Yeah. Good slap. Didn't get a point taken. That's right. Grab That's right. Probably landed the Good better shit, shot. Brother. Good shit. So I I important clean, to brother. know. You got this, man. Did All not day. get you a point it, taken. It was just a warning. But has to eat that Good. second Good. strike, and that's exactly what he does. Now here comes Fight strike number two from and the big count. fella right to Wolverine. Hand on three. Official you must score card of Michael Bisping. Ten measure. nine. The bell right now. The heavyweight title on the line. One. Two. Oh, man. Big one. Good one. Sickening thud. Watch him. Ain't that way better. Whenever you're ready, okay? Put, put the thing down. Is that whenever, whenever you're ready, okay? You got time. You got no one. I got third. I'm ready to get my head slapped off. Right now. I'm ready. Hey, throw that <laughs> speed like you know how, okay? By the way, speed. he took That's a little baby at. step backwards. Wolverine is a seconds. goddamn warrior. Five to oh, 30. no, he is. Listen, I mean, he's a Let's special go. man. They both are. Anyone that steps up there, they got balls of iron. See the blood on Fight the tongue? Fight set. Little internal Man, damage count. to the mouth. Right hand on three. You must measure. measure. Let's see if the lumber truck driver One. delivers a lumber here. Two. Again, it seems a little out of range. It looks feet. like he could Good do slap. feet a little closer. Just like an inch or two closer, job, not much. Good job. Stand there, you all right? You feeling good, right? You good, all right. We got Ryan time, we Phillips. got time. You need to shake it off a little bit? We got Coach time. Him up. You good? Okay, good. Yeah, we're good. I think you're right. Yep, he's Michael, good. I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. You have to land that palm flush, Fight the whole recover. palm. Hand count. Okay, it's right hand it's on three. You see, a, you a part measure. of the palm did land. I'd measure. still like to see him be a little closer. See, you see how Wolverine has his feet One. right up against the table when he's defending. Hold on, let's go. Nah. Nah. Stumbled him back that time. Nah, Good Wolverine slot. ate Good that like it was nothing. Like Sunday brunch. Throws the that thumbs up sign right, right away. Is no. No. He All is right. eating yeah. like he's at the buffet. Some big time shots, man. Hopefully he doesn't get full. Oh, it was clean. It was clean. Slightly. I think his fingers got the back of the ear. What do you want to go at this time? I am a little small. surprised his experience as Wolverine yeah, is that he's right not now. landing as flush as he has got to be in the box. Yeah, you see how close to the table he stands when right. he's accepting the blow. I'd like to see him be in the Final same reset. position when he's Hand throwing count. his own shot. Right Seems a little far right away. Right hand on three. You must measure. You're good. You're good. You got time. You're in the box. And he's leaning forward as well. That's, That's going to depreciate the power. Right. You're 100 percent right. Two. I 
Bell just looks it down. Good for I love the look. Yeah. I love the look coming back from the Bell. Like, that all you got? Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> That, yeah, that was the best strike that Wolverine's landed in the fight. Yeah, but he took right, it like bro. a You're up, bro. You're up. Just keep it going. This is a You're good to go right now. You want to take a little bit of a break? We got some time. We got 40 Neither seconds. Now the man has really established I just want to make you know, sure you're any okay kind of to go, man. significant you know? damage or no, wobble no, no. particularly Wait, not badly. Not you're covered is what your score is. Well, the when bell we has out, wobbled just, you know, we're just Wolverine more than he's been wobbled. That's for sure. But hey, you're good. Go up, bro. Yes, sir. Competitor set. Hand count. Right on three. Wolverine has just been measure. eating all these up. Let's see if the bell can land a big one here. Look at the hand placement. The entirety of the hand is over the face. One. Two. Get ready. Oh, oh my goodness. Again, the thumbs up. Good up. I tell you what, that man has a chin. How does he take that? Respect to Wolverine. That looked about clean. That's the only one that looked clean. Tell you when you got 30k. This is where good. the this is where the experience shows. Okay, you After got, every you shot, take up he just takes more. his time. Once you stand he steps there, you got a full minute to strike. Okay. So once I get in the box, I got a minute. Yeah, once you're in the box, you got a minute. But you got to be in there before the 30 seconds is up. Um, so take your time, time on this. Next time you come up. We got the next time. All right. You good? All right. Round what four is for Wolverine. Hey, count. Put the thing on the back. No, no, you're snapping. Yeah, the no. champ Hand dabbing count. him up. Which I don't know if he did know, actually. Right hand. I think on Wolverine three. might you be a little measure. dazed right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. He thought he was accepted now. He did. Measure. Oh, uh, dude, he's still again. wobbling. And he moved back. One, two. Good slap, though. Solid. Good slap. Good slap. Solid. Jesus Christ, what a fucking war. You're a bad motherfucker, bro. You're a bad man, brother. What wrong are you? <laughs> no, you are, motherfucker. That's You're killing it, brother. What wrong? I can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking good. You're you looking got good. Damien DeBell, so who normally wears glasses, so asking what good. round it is. As he's looking set. up at the big screen. He can't see it. Well, right hand going through. I don't three. think it's the vision that's measure. giving him problems. It's the four. Hard slaps in the face. Here we are, the final round for the heavyweight belt. One. The championship on the line. Two. The final shot. Let's go! Oh! 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 Three. Wow! Can Wolverine get up? Five. Six. Seven. Oh my God, he's an animal. Eight. Wow! Look you at have that. To be careful. That's unbelievable. He yeah. has Stop a will good. and a chin right, of good. iron. That's unbelievable. That's crazy. Normally, when people drop like that, even though they have the will to get back to their feet, they're wobbled, they're all over the place, but his will, that's what took over there. His desire to win, to remain the champion, he would not be denied. But what a shot from the bell. I mean, that's amazing. Okay, let's get back to the bell drops, and that's the first time. Get back. Last hit. All of it. Wolverine has been dropped. You talk about Ooh. balls of steel. His balls are hanging on the ground. It's Spider unbelievable. Set. Ah. Hand count. Right three. His balls are in his shit. Right hand on three. This is you must measure. All right. Final what a main shot. event. Final slot. Measure. Last chance. Of He's going to have to knock him out. Two. Ah, not going to do it. Good. That's Good not going to do it. Wow. So. To the scorecards we go. Yeah, and I think the bell got it. I think the 21-year-old who's living in Ruskin, Florida, grew up as a surfer and a skater in Oceanside, California, outside of San Diego. I think he got it done. Certainly seemed to have done so. I mean, visibly, you know, he did the most damage. The bell for the final round of the 10-8 round because he sat him down, he put him down, almost finished the battle, but the Wolverine. Just the will oh, no, to continue going go. through that one. I hate to say it because I'm a huge fan of Ron Bader, the Wolverine. What a man representing his family, here for his family. But if I was scoring, sadly, David the Bell, he goes home as the champion tonight. And it goes back to what you said before the fight. The Bell is built like a heavyweight. He looks like a heavyweight, and he has the power. Let's listen to that. Fifth round strike one more time. 
Oh, God. Oh. Nice. The power, number one in human force, number one in impact power. I want to see all five of these DeBell strikes again if we can do that. So do I. Let's go. That's what we're here for. Here's number one. Boom. Uh -huh. Good shot. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, thank you. Here's the second one of the evening with the bell. Ringing the bell. You see, the Wolverine felt that one. Oh, he did. The beard just all over the place. But how tough is he, man? Nah, it's crazy. It's crazy. 99% of the men in the world that are heavyweights would have gone down with those shots. And this final shot, this was the icing on the cake. Woo! And now for the official decision brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. Send it to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-44, 50-44, and 49-45 for the winner by unanimous decision and new power slap heavyweight champion of the world, Damien Dupin. God is right, Damien DeBell, the pupil taking out the teacher, just 21 years old, the when power, this, the mass, and now the champion. When the student becomes the master, it's a tale as old of time, as old as time, should I say. Hey, that was impressive. Shout out Wolverine. You know, he made it a compelling match. Absolutely. You know, some of the shots he took, other people would have gone to sleep. That's a fact. But the power that this man possesses here, as I said, a natural heavyweight. I think that's a big part of it. Ron Bader talked. He would like to go down to light heavyweight, but he wanted to defend the belt. I believe next time we'll see him, it will be at 205 pounds. Tonight, though, the main event, the champion and new, Damien the Bell, the Bell. I believe you are correct, and our new heavyweight champion is with Charlie Arnold. Yep, standing next to the new heavyweight champion, Damian DeBell, our first newly crowned champion of the night. I know you're excited. You just told me that right when you walked in. What's going through your mind? I honestly just, I can't believe I did it. <laughs> like, honestly, it's been a lot of hard work to get to this point, and now I just got a nice shiny belt to take back home. It's, it's, I, I'm over the moon right now. You've been talking all week. This is all you've wanted. Does it feel almost a little bit surreal? It really does. I honestly, like, you go into a fight hoping that you'll win, knowing that you've trained and worked your ass off for it. But to actually see that become a reality is just, it's crazy. It's, it's hard to explain with words. And what a roller coaster of a fight it was. Five rounds. Did you ever expect to go five rounds with Wolverine? No, I definitely never expect to. From watching his videos to fighting him, I never expected that. And I'm, I'm so happy that I was able to pull it through. Was there a moment in the fight when you thought to yourself, I think I have this in the bag? Or was there any level of concern as you were going through it? Honestly, I feel like after the first hit, that's when I realized I, I have a good shot at taking this belt home. Because that hit, it hurt. It hurt like nothing else. But... I was able to take it and carry on, and honestly, that really pushed me through the rest of the match. And what an interesting dynamic, Wolverine, the head coach, you, the assistant coach. Yep. What was it like facing the head coach and surviving and winning? Honestly, it's, it's just an amazing feeling. Like, you just, you come to the sport, you know, and you just try to build yourself up, and he's been doing this for a while, and seeing myself grow and be able to actually take that is, it was amazing. Is there anything you're taking away from this fight that's helped you to grow as a slap fighter and that will help you to evolve and, you know, lead you to what's next in your career here? Honestly, just uh, work on my chin any way possible because he hits like a truck. <laughs> well, your face is looking pretty good right now. <laughs> I'm surprised it does. I, I can't see myself in, you know, in any reflection right now. I haven't checked, but 
that man, it hurt. It really did, but I'm glad I was able to take the win and finally got that belt. Talk to me about what's what's coming up tonight. Any big celebration plans? I'm going to get me some get me some food, maybe pass out. I'm I'm done. This is it. <laughs> it seems like that's that's the plan here for a lot of the winners. Just go take a nap, relax. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you, you know, when you work so hard to get to a certain point and you finally reach that and you're able to really, you know, show what you've done and worked hard for, you just want to take a step back. Well, you're at long. the top of the mountain. Time to take a breath. Congratulations, Damien. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Guys, back to you. He's just a good kid. His wife, Dakota, convinced him to get into Power Slap, and I, I think she's glad she did right now. <laughs> I mean, that, that win bonus and probably gets a fight of the night bonus as well. This is a uh, very fruitful evening for that young man. A very fruitful evening. He certainly made the right career choice, if you will. He's a natural at this. And you know what I loved about the main event? Two heavyweights, the best that there is, but two of the nicest guys, cool, calm, and collected. No bullshit, no, no, no disrespecting their opponents, just here for the competition to make something of themselves. And, and what a matchup. Went five rounds, very compelling, but there was no, no doubt about it. Damien DeBell hit harder. He's rightly going home the champion tonight. Certainly no shame in Wolverine's game, man. The fact that he lasted as long as he did was unbelievable. How about a little real time rewind on what went down tonight? Two. from the crowd. I mean, sometimes they win, you get the oohs, you get the ahs. <laughs> I think that was us all night. There's going to be a time, Michael Bisping, when this is in a big arena in front of 12,000, 15,000 people, can you imagine what that's going to be like? I'm telling you right now, the atmosphere in here tonight was absolutely electric. I am boiling, I'm sweating like a pig. And you're right, right? Listen, this is so exciting. It is ridiculous. Those reactions from the crowds, from us, it's genuine, it's real. You feel it, it's animalistic, it's visceral. These men are trying to change their lives, okay? And this is what they choose to do, and I am here for it. That was a phenomenal evening of action. I can't wait for the next one. Well, and you, we had some early prelims that didn't make the broadcast that you're going to see a bit down the road. Some of them were absolute bangers. Some of them were first round KOs that you just have to see. And there's a pipeline of talent that is coming into Power Slap that's seemingly endless because every time somebody watches this, they say, oh, this, this is kind of cool. I want a piece of yeah. it. But well, listen, yeah, the early prelims which weren't earned, we're not going to talk about the results because we don't want to spoil it, but I'm telling you, the main card was phenomenal. All of the fights or bouts were phenomenal, but the early prelims, they really got this night off to a bang or a slap, should I say, because non-stop action from start to finish, power slap delivers once again. Title fights tonight, Damian Dubell, who we already discussed, was the only new title holder, the only contender to win a belt but the others were really interesting. A.J. Hintz retains his belt after he was knocked out by Russell Rivero because there was a stepping foul called on Rivero on the knockout blow, and Hintz couldn't continue. So he retains the belt. You kind of compared it to the Aljamain Sterling issue, which it, it, it it's similar. It's yeah, similar yeah. in that way. I, and it was very unfortunate. You know, Russell Rivero, I'm a huge fan of the guy. I like what he brings to the table, but the rules are there for a reason. And sadly, listen, he knocked the guy out with a, an illegal blow that results in the disqualification, whether it's mixed martial arts, boxing, or power slap. You foul your opponent, they go to sleep, you go home the loser. Another interesting fight, John the Machine Davis, his shoulder looked like it came out of socket on the first strike. He had to switch arms. He really didn't have the power in the left arm. And all Wesley Drain had to do was have some clean strikes and he was gonna win it, and he couldn't avoid the foul, so John Davis, Weathers the storm, holds on to the belt, 
despite his shoulder popping out of sight. And what a story that was. I mean, the first shot that he landed messed up his arm. Then he went to the left. The left wasn't delivering. There was fouls all over the place. There were steps, there was clubs, there was high drama, there was tension. At the end, he uses the right arm again, retains the belt. Utter sheer madness. Well, I will tell you, there was one fight that had no controversy on the oh, main card. God. I know we That was this the is. first one. Slap for cash. A million Instagram followers says he started this whole slap deal, faced Dane Viernes, the Hawaiian hitman, and the Hawaiian hitman laid him down. I mean, he might have started it, but it finished with him out for the count. I mean, listen, he came in very confident, but these are big men. You know, and one shot from these guys delivered in the right fashion to the right area with precision, it's gonna put you to sleep. And listen, I, he's a big guy, he's very heavy, but when you see the build of the two of them, you can see Viernes is just naturally the stronger man. And I say that with respect. Keep your eye on a couple of winners in the prelims as well. Dorian Perez, Waylon Frost. It was a draw with uh, Blackburn and Young. That was an interesting fight. Uh, your, your, your big takeaway from tonight? Big takeaway tonight. I can't wait to do this again. We will be back in the summer with more power slap. And I'm telling you, right from start to finish, as I said, I'm here at the Apex very, very regularly. And there's always a good atmosphere. But tonight, it was ridiculous. You can taste it, you can feel it. Let's go. I can't wait for the next one. I'm surprised you didn't taste a, a shotgun with Steve from the <laughs> he tried. When he, came over. he tried getting me drinking on the job. But as we all know, I'm the I'm Mr. Professional. Yeah. I don't drink and drive. I don't drink on the job. No. Come on. First time you've ever turned down a, a beer in your life. Now I, it's time I might to have drink. Had a little sip. I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait to do this with you again, my friend, for Zach Candido and everybody else in the truck. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We send you out with the Power Slap champions, Damian DeBell, the only new champion. AJ Hintz hangs on, as does John Davis. And Christopher Thomas, we will be seeing him again. What a night here at the Apex in Las Vegas. Power Slap 2, dare I say, even better than Power Slap 1. Power Slap 3 going to be coming up this summer. And boy, is it going to be a blast. Live and free only on Rumble from here on out. No fouls. Don't step. Maybe you win a title. Three titles on the line tonight. What a night. For Bisping, I'm Dan Helley. Thanks for watching, everybody.